Now let's turn our attention to a more realistic and accurate comparison to see what happens when we start to tap into the affinity law by altering the speed of an IntelliFlow pump. Look what happens when the technician reduces the motor speed on IntelliFlow from 3,450 to 3,332 RPMs, a tiny 3% reduction. As you can see, the watts drop from 2,880 to 2,420, a 16% reduction. Now remember, you probably wouldn't be running the pump at this high speed either, but you can certainly see the impact when you control the motor speed and drive energy use down. Now let's look at what happens to energy consumption when the IntelliFlow is set for filter mode in a 20,000 gallon pool with a 12 hour runtime. The RPMs drop from 3,332 to 1,100 while the watt usage decreases from 2,420 to 157, a whopping 94% reduction. Finally, let's go to the opposite extreme and compare an IntelliFlow with a less powerful one horsepower pump running at a speed of 3,600 RPMs. Here you'll notice that the watt usage decreases from 1,670 to 1,196, which is a 28% energy savings. But also remember, you have the ability to reduce the speed of the IntelliFlow and further reduce power requirements for different routines throughout the day, week, or season. Therefore, a 28% savings is actually the worst case scenario because the more you customize IntelliFlow's performance for each pool function, the greater the savings potential. So there are two key points to remember. First, the permanent magnet motors used on new variable drive pumps are much more efficient than induction motors used on static speed pumps. On average, you'll reduce electricity use by 30%. Second, a static speed pump inevitably runs a significant amount of the time at a speed well beyond what is actually required to power most of the jobs it must do. It cannot take advantage of the affinity law. A variable drive pump, by contrast, can be programmed to run at its best efficiency point for every task, and by exploiting the affinity law, it can typically reduce energy use up to 90%. With this in mind, we encourage you to be cautious when other manufacturers attempt to dismiss the savings by distorting the facts. Perhaps we should end with a couple of comments from actual pool owners who have replaced their old pump with an IntelliFlow pump. After all, these are the facts that matter most. But what you're about to see is a new pump that saves energy, is good for the environment, and is actually quiet. The swimming pool is one of the nicest pleasures during our hot summer days. But as the Smith family of Monrovia found out, it can be an expensive pleasure. How much is this bill? $253.07. And that was for when? This is for um, the end of May. The cause of the big jump in their energy bill turned out to be the pool pump, the second biggest consumer of energy next to the air conditioner. So Richard Smith came up with a plan to replace the relatively new pool pump, a plan Michelle thought was crazy. But Richard was right. Replacing the pool pump turned out to be a real money-saving idea. Their bill this month? $184.36. So the Smiths are now saving about $70 a month on their utility bill. You see, most pool pumps have one speed, high, and it takes a lot of energy to run at that speed for five to eight hours a day. But the Smiths new pump, a Pentair IntelliFlow, has variable speeds. This pump is designed the opposite of that. You customize the speed of the pump to the pool. Pool pumps can be a significant drain on our, on our energy resources, there's no doubt. They say pool owners could save, on average, $500 a year on their electric bills by using these low-energy pumps. And California, remember, is loaded with swimming pools. So if you multiply that out, we're talking about ex serious savings and also serious benefits to, to the grid. Ernest Rios has already seen the benefits. His new pump does more than just filter water. It pumps pool up to his roof where it's heated by solar. It also powers the jets in a spa, all while cutting his electric bill. Look at this. In May, his bill went from $201 last year 
to $160 this year. In June, it went from $231 last year to $164 this year. About a third less. So now the Rioses crank up their pool without worry. We hope you've found this straight talk about variable drive pumps helpful. We recognize these products are significantly different and can be initially challenging to fully understand. That said, we look forward to assisting you with installation, programming, sales, and service support so that we can jointly deliver these incredible savings to your customers. As always, thank you for your support of Pentair, Water Pool, and Spa.